Hello, hello, how's it going? Hi. I'm Dr. Ross. Joanna. And this is Hoppy? This is Hoppy. And I'm looking over the record, and I see that Hoppy's here for a consult about his limb. Yes, sir. It does seem to cause him some pain, I and mean, that's the reason I wanted you to look at him. I rescued Hoppy from the shelter. He was um, set to be euthanized. Okay. His leg was deformed okay. like this. You want to come so over? So we don't know a lot about him before that. He's a very sweet boy. By looking at Hoppy's limb, a list of differentials do come out to me. The first thing I think about is a, a angular limb deformity, and that's something that's congenital. Good boy. That's a good baby. Hold on, Bubba. Hold on, hold on. That limb, he could have been born with it. Another thing that comes to me is, uh, 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 are you familiar with rickets? I've heard about it. Rickets. Ricket is something, um, a disease that they get when they have a, a vitamin D deficiency. Okay. Okay. But most times we see injuries like this is trauma. Hit by a car, fell off the bed, broke the limb at a young age, and it starts to develop and heal abnormally. Okay. Uh, if it didn't get the special attention that it needs. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start off with doing some x-rays, but the x-rays will let us know um, in totality what's going on okay. with that limb. Sadly, a lot of shelter dogs have been abandoned and abused. So my gut's telling me that trauma could be the reason why Hoppy's leg is the way it is. But we're gonna look at these x-rays and figure out what's going on with Hoppy. You ready to come with me? Can I, can I take you? Come on, Baba. I have to give Joanna a lot of credit. A lot of people would not rescue a disabled dog. Hopefully I can bring some comfort to the both of them with my findings. One, two, three, roll. Just like that. All right. Perfect. So if you could just hold Javi, I'm gonna pull up these x-rays. This is the bad limb. Dr. Ross, what do you think it might be? Looks like it was a, a congenital defect. Born with it, this is what I'm worried about. We have a lot of osteoarthritis, a lot of bone fragments. That's not normal. Uh, that lets me know that the body's eating away at the bone. And unfortunately, there's no way to treat that. It has to be amputated. This limb definitely needs to come off. So looking at these um, limbs side by side, okay. as you can see the texture of this particular bone here is not as dense as this bone. It almost looks translucent, meaning that you can see through it. You have all these lesions on a bone that is making that bone very brittle. Okay. And it's gonna just make it weak, weak, weak to the point where one day it could just... It could pop apart, basically. So it's just eating away at itself. Yes. Unfortunately, this is a degenerative disorder, so it worsens with time. If we don't take care of this, the bone could crumble and cause severe pain. Looking at these x-rays, I recommend going ahead and removing that limb. OK. No owner wants to hear the news that their baby's going to have to lose a limb but there's actually happy three-legged dogs. And I'm positive that Hoppy will be no exception. It's okay. Mama loves you. I know. I love you. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. I know it's a hard pill to swallow. It's a very hard decision to remove his leg because I feel like this should have never happened to him. I just feel bad that he's two years old and he's got to lose his leg. You know, that he couldn't have had just a normal life with and not have to go through anything. He has a long life ahead of him. The thing we don't want is for him to be uncomfortable for the next three to eight years right. of his life. Um, and that's, that's not a decision that you have to make now. You can sleep on it, um, you can call me, and we can talk about it farther in depth. Um, but I want you to be comfortable with making the decision. Well, I mean, I trust your opinion, That's, you know, so I want to do what's best for him. You know, I want him to understand that I'm not 
doing this to hurt him, that I'm doing this because I love him. If I don't have his leg removed, he's going to have trouble in the future that's going to cause him to be more uncomfortable. So it's a decision that I feel like I have to make while he's young enough to be able to cope with having three legs. I love you. Okay. We're at Miss Vicky's farm checking on one of her piglets. Lungs okay? Yes, ma'am. Good. So yeah, both heart and lungs still sound really good. Thankfully, this piglet looks healthy, other than the diarrhea. So the E. coli did not spread through the system, and we can save it. Our plan of action, we definitely want to give an antibiotic okay. for possible E. coli. Okay. Um, once we get the antibiotic, we'll just give a little bit of fluids to help with uh, dehydration. Okay. Uh, let me just look at the mucous membrane. Oh. I know, to bite, stop trying they're still, they're still pink. Okay. Uh, still, uh, they're not tacky. Uh, and what we want to do is just give a little sub-Q fluids. I'll just pull the fluids from the bag. OK. We're going to give it proper fluids and treat with antibiotics, and the piglet should be fine. They stick you. Yes, they did. They're just so sweet, and they get so attached to you so fast. I mean, they know my smell. They know my voice. So when I hold them, they know they're safe. Sorry, big guy. You have to. You need it. We know that some treatments are not comfortable for all our patients, but we have to do what's best to save their life. I know they don't understand it, but I'm pretty sure they appreciate it. It's going to be real quick. Ready with the fluids, Doc? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Uh, now you're going to feel so much better. Yes, you are. I think that we squared away on that end. If we can um, separate them from anybody else that's around. OK. And I definitely recommend we treat the rest of the herd. OK. Yeah, you got those guys in there with mom. It's one. If one's coming off and not, you know, nursing, the rest of them, they're probably going to come off and stop nursing. Too. We want to get ahead of the curve here. Okay. So this is something that, at this age, it takes them out really, really fast. Yeah. There's one down. we got four more to go. OK. Hey, come on, buddy. I am so excited to be here to pick Hoppy up. He's going to have a few things he needs to get used to, but I'm just happy to be taking him home. There's my baby! Uh, yes, he said yes. <laughs> did you miss oh, He did. He missed oh my you God. a lot. You probably shouldn't be doing this. Oh, he did great. Is he OK to be doing this? Well, he's a little, um, <laughs> he misses you. Don't let him overdo it. OK. Like a lot of jumping, a lot of running. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he <already> <laughs> 